Hi guys. Um, right. I was doing a bit of searching over the forum room, forums to see if there's any um, p anything people wanted help with and anything redstone related and I came across this challenge uh, for Morse code. Well, it's not quite Morse code, but it's the same kind of thing. So what he wanted is a input where you have three options. You have the yes, the no, the maybe. And then you have the three outputs, the yes, the no, the maybe. But in the middle, all he wanted was a single redstone line. So that's what I created. So I'll give you a brief demonstration here. We... Okay, uh, question. How are there any creepers nearby? No. Okay, so let's go to the um, the output, and as you'll notice, two of the lights are off. This will mean no. I might put it in so it's just a single light that's then on, like using AND gate, but this is just the basic concept at the moment. Um, then the person there could reset the message and then send it through his own one. Send another one. Um, but you can also just click here to reset the message. Or you could, um, you know, click uh, maybe. And this will then turn all three off for maybe. That's fine. Done. So that resets them all to off. Um, basically, what I've done here is use a click generator. Yeah. Um, as I'm sure you know, a basic button input is around two redstone repeaters set to the fourth value. So, um, basically if you put enough redstone repeaters in the way on a separate uh, line it will then send the next impulse along. So this is what we've got here. When we send in the input here it is delayed along here and then joins there. All this redstone repeater is here for is to block the current going the other way as redstone repeaters are diodes. Um, this then the first input will come through here, go off, while this one's still, you know, processing through, then go off. And this one is basically the same, but for the third one, I'm sure you could condense those redstone repeaters down a bit, but it works, so I'm just going to leave it as it is now. And what we've got here is, if you've seen one of my previous videos on the one button, three lights, that's basically the same, but that is the same setup we've got here, so one pulse comes in, it's only going to change that one light. Um, two pulses come in, it's going to change both lights. Three pulses come in, it's going to change all three lights. Uh, the reset basically just works by wires coming underneath the RS null latches and turning it uh, on there for you know millisecond, which then just resets. Okay. Um, this design can be, um, you know, extended. You can add more clicks. I'm currently in the process of thinking how to make it more compact in clicking. I was thinking maybe adding a. Um, no, that won't work. Maybe adding something to the end that just sends the pulse round again. So. Let's just quickly have a look at that then. So if I had a uh, button, uh, and then so that final output goes around there to that. But then if I brought the message off around here again with the delay on it, of a delay of it to like that, because that's a button click. So then, no. Um, oh, I know why. Because that power just goes through there, which then comes through there, which then goes back round. 
so I n uh, wait um uh where where is it so that comes paragraphs in there which I want to come back around there but I don't wait no uh that wouldn't work that wouldn't work because then power comes through there which then will power that again which then comes through here which then will power that again which then comes through there in this no I don't think that will work but you get the basic concept thank you very much for watching I'll see you next time